everybody welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to switch from controller to keyboard and mouse in at least one week so make sure to leave a like on this video subscribe turn on post notifications and let's get straight to it so think about this you wake up one day and you decide that you want to switch from your controller to playing on keyboard and mouse now it's a hard task to take on because you're not used to using keyboard and mouse with your games but what i'm about to show you guys is an easier route to learning to use keyboard and mouse and not having to practice for a month or even more if you're that bad emotional damage so let's take a look at my keyboard and mouse so over here as you can see i have a 60 percent keyboard and i have a new mouse from red dragon here i have a game of fortnite now this can go for other games as well i'm just here to show you guys how to use your keyboard and mouse that suits you what i mean by that is don't use the settings from fortnite don't use the settings from your favorite content creator or streamer use what you think is going to be best for you what i recommend is when you use your keyboard make sure when you're playing that all the keybinds are close to your hand so you're able to move around easily with your hand because if you have let's say the reload button over here it's going to be a struggle in the middle of a game to have to reload your gun and press u so do what you think is best. For the movement, always keep it as WASD. And then for crouching, I use CTRL. Or actually, no, I use... For crouching, I use Shift. And for the reload button, I use R. And that goes for every other game as well. The best thing you can do is basically just find what is going to be more comfortable for you. So I'm going to show you guys here on my game of Fortnite on my second camera how Fortnite works for me and how I am able to move around easily with the buttons close to me and just crank 90s. So let's just get going. Sorry, I'm a little slow this morning. <laughs> also, make sure to pay attention to the camera with my keyboard and mouse. You see how I have it close to me right here? I'm able to move around easily as well. That also goes for crouching. Also, when I'm switching through guns, I have uh, X as my first slot, which is my pickaxe, and then two as the second slot, three, you know, and so on. But that goes for every other game as well. Just what I recommend is mostly finding the keybind that is up here close to you for your loadout. So it could be one two or you could do like me and put x and then two to switch through your guns but i mostly recommend what you think is best now i'm showing you guys the easy route but it doesn't mean it's not gonna take time so let me show you guys here here are some of my uh keybinds here i use t for using weapons and that goes for every other game as well i i know t is a weird button but if you look here i have t because it's the closest to my finger so when i'm building or when i'm walking at the same time and i have to rush to get into zone i press t if there's a chest nearby to then get it then I just pick all of the loot up and I just run away. And then I wait for the next player to come and kill me. 
but that's not the point. Now, a lot of this takes time and practice, so you really gotta stay on top. You don't have to spend your whole day learning, but at least take 30 minutes of your day and just go on your favorite game and practice your keyboard and mouse skills. Also, sensitivity is also a very important key to keyboard and mouse. You have to find what sensitivity is going to be best for you and when you're in game. It all depends on how fast you're going, how fast you're moving. So I'm going to show you guys here right now in Fortnite my um, sensitivity. I have it at least at 9.3 because that is the lowest one or not the lowest one, but the let's say like one of the best. And it allows me to move around easily. Now, let's say if I brought it more down, I'm gonna start moving like this, and it's gonna be crazy. So, really pay attention to what sensitivity you're using and whether it's helping you in your game or not. I know it can be tough for some people because they've been on controller for so long. Trust me, I know what it's like. When I started keyboard and mouse, I was all over the place. Um, I had posted on TikTok and I had some people comment under it saying, you know, use this sensitivity, uh, change those key binds, it'll help you out a little more. And I definitely appreciate their support because I took that information and I didn't use it, but I made it my own way to help myself. And that is basically it. That is my advice to all of you. I know this video wasn't very long, but this is really the easiest route that you can take. And this is the route that I recommend the most. Also, if you want to find more information than just the information I'm giving you, go online. There's so many websites for keybinds and what's the best way for you. But... This is basically the tutorial of how you should be approaching keyboard and mouse and what's the best route for you. Before I end this video, I want to apologize for the lack of videos lately. Things have been pretty busy with my streams. I have two new sponsors, so I am very excited about that. But with my new editor, Scar, I will have all of the links to his socials in the description in every video so if you want to check him out and support him definitely go ahead um and with my new editor we will be able to get more videos out faster so definitely stay tuned expect more videos in the future and again thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe turn on post notifications and i will see you guys later